century. Now, human governments and other efforts have not succeeded because, in the final analysis, and we've talked about this before, we simply do not know the right way to live. Now, Solomon, king of uh, ancient Israel, put it bluntly, okay, at Proverbs 14, 12, as well as Proverbs 16, 25, when he said, There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. So through the prophet Jeremiah, okay, let's look, turn our attention. Uh, God tells us that it is not in man who walks to direct his own steps at Jeremiah 10 23 regretfully mankind has proved the truth of those words for generation upon generation and under human rule influenced by of course Satan's attitude of getting all we can for ourselves the world has never seen a time actually free of turmoil war and suffering what do we see right now turmoil war and suffering it hasn't changed now the world suffers from chronic overwhelming problems because we have actually rejected God okay so under God's inspiration Sol Solomon's uh, father King David wrote this the Lord looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any who understand and who seek God okay they have all turned aside they have together become corrupt okay and there is none who does good no not even one this is found in Psalms 14 2 and 3 so Jeremiah also noted that people are largely blinded okay by the deceit of their own evil motives and their intents we see at Jeremiah 17 9 the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure who can understand it so the prophet Isaiah adds this Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, nor his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated you from your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear. Okay? For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity, your lips have spoken lies, and your tongue has muttered perversity. No one calls for justice, nor does any plead for truth. The way of peace they have not known, and there is no justice in their ways, and they have made themselves crooked, okay, crooked paths. Whoever takes that way shall not know peace. And that's found in Isaiah 59, verses 1 through 8. So God's ways are vastly different from man's. He tells us, my thoughts are not your thoughts nor are your ways my ways for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts okay pretty clear and this is found in isaiah 50 uh 55 8 through 9. so satan has effectively deceived the world throughout history by influencing human beings to cut themselves literally off from god's guidance and he has led us into wanting to do things our own way and to rely on ourselves rather than God as the ultimate authority okay so he is rejecting God so therefore he is influencing others to do the same misery loves company so Paul describes the results actually of rejecting God okay and it says since they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, he gave them over to a depraved mind and to do what ought not to be done. They have become filled with every kind of wickedness, evil, greed, and depravity. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, and malice. They are gossipers, slanderers, God-haters, insolent, arrogant, and boastful. They invent ways of doing more evil, okay? They disobey their parents. They are senseless, faithless, heartless, ruthless. This. Although they know God's righteous decree that those who do such things deserve death, they not only continue to do these things, okay, but also approve of those who actually practice them. And we already know this at Romans 1, 28-32. So Paul's words ring as true in our day as ever before.
okay? Our news and entertainment media praise and actually condone degenerative, okay, sinful lifestyles and practices while condemning people who support biblical standards as narrow-minded bigots, okay? Out to impose their biases on others, trying to kill their their high and kill their joy. Mm, okay, such twisted values are the inevitable result of a mindset that rejects the knowledge and commandments of God. So, although God is always in ultimate control, we've already established that, the scriptures make it clear that he is not the reason for the world's many chronic problems, which is what most people, we've talked about this so many times, will all say, why is God letting this happen? Why is God do this? Where is God? Where is God? Okay, this is not the reason. He is not the reason for the world's many chronic problems. As Jesus Christ said in John 18, 36, my kingdom is not, N-O-T, not of this world. God is not behind the misery that plagues our planet. Satan the devil is the true ruler of this world. Found in John 12, 31, John 14, 30, and John 16, 11. John tells us that the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. Okay? At 1 John 5, 19. So again, bottom line, Satan is the god of this age. Okay? So, moreover, Satan's demonic cohorts also exercise control in this world, even at times powerfully influencing, okay, they are so influencing uh, human governments, and they do not want people to talk about the Bible. They don't want to talk about the Bible. They don't want you to make the Bible anymore. They don't want you to read the Bible. They don't want you to share the word <laughs> of God. Okay, why is that? Because it's going against everything. Because they are following who? Satan. There you go. In the book of Daniel, the righteous angel Gabriel tells Daniel that he had just been fighting with the help of the archangel Michael against a very powerful spirit, personality, referred to as the Prince of Persia. And we've talked about this before when we talked about spiritual warfare. And that um, he would soon have to fight against another called the Prince of Greece. And this is found in Daniel 10, 13, and 20. Um, of course there are but subordinates under the devil. Okay, we also talked about the hierarchy of the demonic realm. Okay, and different stations and different princes and principalities of dark forces. Um, so yeah, so in an attempt to lead Jesus astray in Matthew 4 verses 8 and 9, Satan offered all the kingdoms of the world and their glory as they were truly under his dominion. And they um, referenced Luke 4, 5 through 7. So for me, I'm going to stop here for a second. We're getting closer to the end of this particular episode. Is that I often find that so interesting. Because when I think of Jesus, Jesus is essentially a spiritual being like Satan and um, the other fallen angels as well as the angels um, that are still with Jehovah God, um, our creator, okay, um, that he's, he wasn't an imperfect human being like ourselves. All we know is the earth because we've already talked about that. We are creatures of sight. Everything in the physical realm, things that we can see, hear, taste, touch. But Jesus, he tempted Jesus. Jesus knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that he didn't actually... Everything that's in this world, he is of this age, but he didn't. he's not the creator. So... I'm still like, okay, so you're going to go and tempt Jesus Christ? Uh, and he's going to say, what? Yeah. <laughs> he knows that what you're offering, that he didn't originally make it. I mean, did he really think that he was going to say, yeah, 
I, I mean, I don't 